if many people are working together, a good, good thing you can do is actually to uh, use a filter. Here you can see that there is already a prepared filter changed last 24 hours. You can make a check if your intensive work and many people involved. Uh, you can actually say that you empty the search field and click search again and you can see exactly these terms are now in the database because they were changed later than yesterday. So this is a, a, a way you can use, this is a very good filter to use if you want to check what's happened. You check the filter is simple, it looks like this. Uh, edit. Uh, it's available to all users and it's uh, the concept change date is after the 30th of May actually, so it's four days actually. Uh, it's in the wrong name, 24 hours it should be actually be the 6th, the 3rd of, I can change like this, like this, one day, relative one day, so uh, let's change the name, that's better. So six concepts and you apply, already applied, right, you can see that. Uh, while I'm here I could actually uh, tell you about a possibility that's now new to 3.16 and that's the possibility to click here. What happens now? You actually create a permalink. You can see up here. A permalink, that's not to a certain concept or certain term, it's actually a permalink to the filter. So I just copy this and send it to someone in an email and say, please check these. And this means that if I apply no filter, I may, you may also take away the domain search by, just by clicking here. And let's see, I'm now a totally different person and the person uh, uses the link like this. This is a permalink giving to a f an effect giving the effect to show exactly these because the permalink is a link to the filter. So you can send a filter to another person using Terminal. Please check these. Are they good? Are they bad? Could you please add uh, German uh, quickly if, if that's needed, whatever. So this is a possibility and the filter function is very handy and you can also combine it with a filter, uh, for example, German terms missing, right? Uh, you can have a filter say German terms missing if you wanted to have uh, and then you send <clears throat> this filter to a person uh, that's supposed to translate into German. Thank you folks, that was all for now. Uh, just a few tips on how to use the functions old and new in Turnbull.